Are you a restaurant owner that offers table bookings over social media? Or do you want to start offering it? You're keeping up with the trend because more and more guests prefer booking a table online if there is an instant response from the restaurant. But what is the best way to offer your guests this super convenient and fast booking experience? Wouldn't it be fantastic if a guest just messaged your page, would find a table without you having to respond? Well, Fantastic has a new name, the Calendar App. It's the best way to find tables on social media. Your guest message you on Instagram, open the calendar, select date, time and how many people they want to bring, click submit and receive a confirmation. The calendar app handles everything for you. And the good thing about it, it takes you less than four minutes to have everything set up and running and start receiving your first bookings. Let me show you how it works. In your calendar app dashboard under events, click on the restaurant template. If you don't have a calendar app account just yet, click the link in the description below and watch the video to get started. After your event is created, let's take a look at what we already have. For that, click on the URL icon, click on schedule and select any channel. Open a new tab and open the link. First, we're going to change the image and text. For that, Click on the three dots right here and then view demo calendar. Click here to change the image and here to upload an image. Alternatively, you can click here to add a URL. Click set. Let's change the text. Change the text into something meaningful. You can even use many chats system fields, for instance, the first name. Describe your dishes in the most delicious way and let your customers know your opening hours. Then click on save to save your changes. Great, let's take a look at the changes we've made. Again, click on the URL icon, click on schedule, select any channel and open this in a new tab. Also, the first name will be substituted with the guest's first name within the conversation. If you go to your Google Calendar, you will see that the template has created those three calendars for you. One for each table. Let's add a few more tables to your restaurant. To create more tables to your restaurant, click on the pencil icon of your event and then on the pencil icon next to use case. Here you see the same three tables with an option to add additional calendars. Now you might already be using the Google Calendar for your restaurant. Then you will find your calendars in a drop down. Search, find, select and add. You can easily remove calendars by clicking on the bin icon. If you don't have any tables yet, you can simply create one new table by typing its name. Table 4, for example. Simply click on create and the calendar is created. Click on the plus icon to add the calendar to your list. But if you want to create, let's say, 10 tables at the same time, then bulk create new calendars. Input the name, the amount and click on create. This will create the calendars and add them to the calendar list. Your calendars will be labeled like this, but you can easily edit it by clicking on the table and renaming it. Click the update icon at the top so the calendar names are also changed in your Google Calendar. From this to this. Edit the number of people that can fit to each table by clicking on the pencil icon and typing in the number. Occasionally click on the save icon to save your changes. Under calendar settings, you can set how long an average table is booked for. What time and date formats you prefer and whether you want to avoid bookings on short notice. We have a full blog post about all the tiny little details that you can adjust. You will find the link in the description of this video. Set how often a slot can be booked, for instance every 30 every 15 minutes. Awesome! Let's hit save and book a table. As you can see, we can book a table from Tuesday to Sunday at these times. If you want to change your opening hours, find the table calendar app restaurant opening hours and adjust your opening hours. We have a full video on how to set opening hours, which is linked in the info card and in the description below. So we're actually done at this point, but there's one more thing. You might want to limit the number of guests for online bookings. Let's say someone wants to celebrate their birthday at your place with 30 people. Then it's a good idea to have the person on the phone 
just to discuss some details. To set the limit, click on additional restaurant settings and input the number. Edit the guest, your guest views when they exceed the limit. You might want to add a phone number so your guest can call you with a simple tab. Save your changes and close the window. You can now select your ManyChat confirmation flaws for each channel and also edit it by clicking on the pencil icon. Click on each of those three action buttons you see right here and find your event in the dropdown. This one is the rescheduling option. Here is the delete option. And right here is the schedule option. As shown earlier, you can also click the URL icon, click on reschedule, select the channel and paste this URL in the according field. If you use the URL option, or the drop-down option is entirely up to you. It works exactly the same way. In case you're using WhatsApp, click on the WhatsApp logo and also add a number or select your WhatsApp number. The same applies for Telegram. Click on Save to save your changes. Your ManyChat fields are also set for you. However, you may want to adjust them. In case you do make changes, save your event. And this is it. This is how you book tables with the calendar app on social media. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below or simply submit a support ticket. We have two more videos for you. The first one is about how to add an add to calendar button so your guests can add the reservation to their own calendar as well. And the other one is about how to send automated appointment reminders so your guests will not miss the reservation. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.